Enough of that. If you want to see any more, you're going to have to pay for that OnlyFans stuff. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make that money. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Join me and Tattoo here, and well, as you can see from the title of today's video, today is the day that you guys get to see what my parents' reaction to my tattoo is. If you have not seen my first video, go ahead and check it out. Part one of getting my half sleeve tattooed was last week's video, and now this, you get to see what the final tattoo looks like, healed, fresh, and you get to see my parents' reactions. So before we get to that, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that we know every single time I post a new video. So with that being said, let's get started. It is day two of me getting my arm tattooed and let me tell you, I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm ready, but I'm also not. <sighs> We're going towards the back of the arm today. We're just gonna cap the rest of the arm. My parents did not see my tattoo yet. I have been wearing shirts that have been able to cover my arm enough to where they haven't seen anything. I like looked through my closet and everything to find like a baseball tee that like went down um, enough to where it covered my tattoo and they didn't really think anything of it. I just told them like, oh, I'm, I'm trying on stuff because because I'm gonna be going to San Diego and I wanna see what's still fit and if you know, blah, 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 blah. So I should probably get inside because again, five minutes till my appointment and I don't wanna keep so poly waiting. So come along with me. Ooh, we're gonna go ahead and see if I cry or not. What's up everybody? Okay, so welcome to day two of me getting my half sleeve tattooed. Let me go ahead and start by saying, oh my fuck, the beginning part of this tattoo hurt like a bofo. So when I got there, of course, you know, he cleaned off the tattoo and everything and placed the stencil, right? So when you don't place the stencil exactly where you need it to be, you have to spray it with alcohol or you have to clean it off with something that has alcohol in it in order to take off the stencil because if not, it's just gonna stay there, right? So first time placing the stencil, I already kind of went in knowing it probably was get it placed exactly perfectly i was like please lord please let him place this perfectly the first time but it happens right so he had to take it off with alcohol the fresh one that i got the day before yeah because it didn't come off he had to get some hand sanitizer to wipe it off so when i told you my arm was on fire bitch my arm was burning it felt like hell it felt like just it did not feel great not to mention 15 minutes later i had to have a needle in my arm so the beginning part of the tattoo was definitely a rough experience so i want to go ahead and start by saying i look so damn rough in all of this video footage bitch i didn't have my hair cut i looked busted you know i was dressed in the same clothes i had on the day before because when you get tattooed like that two days in a row you kind of gotta get in the zone and for me personally if i'm like in pain pain bitch i'm gonna put on my headphones and i'm gonna just do my damn thing i'm gonna get in the zone i ain't trying to mess up my tattoo especially portraits she one small mistake and my parents go from looking like my parents to just some random people i will say to be honest the arm is not anything compared to the leg the leg is way more painful than the arm um of course there were some parts of the arm that I definitely did not really enjoy, which is closer to the elbow, closer to the arm ditch, closer to my armpit, both in the front and the back. That shit did not feel good. Um, I will say that honestly, compared to all my other tattoos, this is probably one of my least painful ones. My knee, my inner thigh, the side of my leg, more of the painful tattoos for sure. Honestly, if you're getting your first tattoo, get a half sleeve. It's sure it's a little bit more painful, but it's worth it. You can sit through it. If I can sit through it two days, you can sit through it. When getting the tattoo, I definitely thought about hmm, how am I gonna hide this from my parents? But then I also thought, I hid being gay for about 16 years, so hiding a tattoo for about four days, not that bad. Of course, I've decided to get like an arm tattoo literally the day that it's like hell's asshole outside. It was a hundred and something all week. And of course, instead of me going swimming and living my best life, I was getting tattooed also living my best life. Honestly, tattoos make me feel so much more comfortable and confident in myself and my body. Both my parents are very supportive of what I do. You know, they're very supportive of me tattooing. You know, hell, my dad even helped me get my my apprenticeship. Um, he knew somebody, the guy who actually was originally supposed to teach me, he knew him just from casual conversation and actually just helped me get my foot in the door. I, I can't say anything negative. My parents have supported me through a lot of different points in my life. It took them a little while to wrap their heads around the idea because, you know, to them, tattooing is something that's affiliated with gangs or it's just not seen as classy and blah 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 but you know baby i am the new age of tattooing i am the new age of tattoo artists tattoos should not mean that you look ghetto or sketch or crazy or scary or anything like that another way of self-expression on your skin that is what's most important and that's what i try and get across to my parents regardless of however they react i just know that i can go ahead and hit them with the you know my only crime is loving my parents which honestly like i do i do i love my parents a lot and that's why i got this tattoo 
duh. All right, I already know my parents are gonna flip. This is a big ass tattoo. I'm very excited about it. I'm excited to see the reaction. I'm also excited to just have this tattoo. But anyways, let's go ahead and cut to Father's Day when I actually show my parents. All right, everybody, so as you can see, your boy got a haircut and your boy also got his tattoo finished. That was tough. Honestly, I mean, I love the way it came out. It came out so good. It, honestly, so Polly did such a fucking amazing job. Yeah, I wish I would have gotten a closing uh, with so Polly, but I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what his info is. His Instagram is tattoos by so Polly. And let me tell you, please hit him up. Super, super talented and you will not be disappointed. So huge shout out to so Polly. I'm so fucking thankful for him doing my tattoo and just being so awesome um, and dealing with me. You know, it's it's been a long day, but the worst is still to come. I haven't shown my parents this tattoo yet. This is gonna be something crazy to see because my parents, like I said in the beginning of this video, they are not gonna be happy about this. Yeah, we'll we'll see how this goes. And if I don't live to tell the tale, just know. <laughs> just know, I love you. I just wanna go ahead and point out the fact that it is now Sunday. I got tattooed Tuesday and Wednesday, so it's almost four days. Um, literally, my tattoos already like peeling and like in the flaky phase. Hello. I honestly, I really wish I would have shown them by now, but also, the more I started to wait because scared, the more I was like, oh, I can hide this until until Sunday, which is Father's Day, which is today. So I could just show him and be like, happy Father's Day. And he could be mad at me and be like, what the heck, son? I am gonna just wear a short sleeve and I'm going to go downstairs and I'm gonna make breakfast for my dad, uh, for my family. I'm kind of just gonna let them see it and when they see it, they see it. And if they don't see it, I'm just gonna have to be like, hey, I'm tattooed. You wanna see it? No. My only crime is loving my parents. Oh my, our dad. It'll be fine. Uh, I already know I'm not. <laughs> Get rid of it, nobody gonna like it. Even if it was you guys? Especially if it was me and your brother. It's a good tattoo. Mom's just beefing. She wants to beef with everybody today. Cause then whenever I'm like sad or whatever, I can be like, mm. oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's your day, mom? <laughs> no response. She ain't talking to you. Come on, just for the one time, just take a peek. Son, you think I'm gonna want to see this? And if your mom already says it's no good, but she doesn't like it. For the one time, then you don't have to look at it anymore. I'm sure I'll see it um, unconsciously one day. <laughs> 
Oh, God. Oh, boy. It's a good tattoo, though. I'm sure it is, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think that went kind of like how I expected it to go because I just, I knowing my parents, I love them to death. They're just amazing people. <laughs> my mom is such a diva. I live for it. I hate it, but I live it. I don't like your tattoo. Your tattoo is trash. It doesn't look like me. It could never look like me. You know, wind blowing through the hair. She's just like, you're trash. <laughs> she really didn't, she doesn't like me getting arm tattoos to begin with. Like, that's why I didn't have them for the longest time. Because I respect my parents' rules, but have I gotten a lot of them? And do I test, test the waters? Because I like living on the edge. Well, that was about mm, almost a month ago now, um, and my tattoo is now fully healed. And I will say, my parents love my tattoo. Well, my mom's been messaging me, and she's just like, Hey, son, can you send me pictures of your tattoo? Like, my friends want to see it, or your grandpa wants to see it. I'm like, Mom, you're hella fake. What the heck? Over there, first day, you're like, it doesn't even look like me. It's so weird. Nah, 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 nah. I don't want you to have a tattoo. Now, when it's cool, you're like, oh. Can I see it? I want to show my friend. Let me go ahead and show you what the finished, healed tattoo looks like. Oh, and let me go ahead and also tell you, my tattoo is fully healed with Tattoo Lovers Care, the salve. I'm not sponsored by them. They don't give me money. I, get, I buy these myself and I give them to my clients because it is quite honestly the best thing that I've ever used to take care of my tattoo. Let me go ahead and show you. Let me show you. Oh, the fucking games, bro. So, didn't it look so good? I'm very, very excited. A brand new bitch. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get more tattoos on my arms now because I'm kind of feeling myself a little bit more and it just makes me feel so good. Also, my parents weren't the happiest about this decision. And next time, I don't know if I can play the whole, you know, my only crime is loving my parents. So that is what my heel tattoo looks like. Let me know what you think. Hype me up in the comments. Tell me, tell me it looks kind of cute. Tell me it looks good. Anyways, guys, I will see you on the next one.